corporations don't control the internet. Yet. You can visit Google or Facebook, but they're not the internet. Amazingly, these giant corporations exist right alongside smaller, independent websites, startups and activists working to lessen their power and create something independent that allows more freedom and is less intrusive than the big corporations. But now, that's changing. The telecom companies we use to access the internet are giving corporate giants like Facebook special treatment. Sometimes it's a marketing trick. Other times, it's for profit. They sell special treatment. Either way, the result is the same. A terrible new future where old telecom giants and new internet giants conspire to remain in control. Forever. A future where videos on corporate sites work, but on smaller sites, they break. A future where expensive phone calls work, but free phone calls over the internet break. A future where giant corporate sites are subsidized to appear free, but independent sites are so expensive to access, no one visits them. This future may be coming to Europe. By August, EU regulators will make their final decision. Prohibit special treatment with strong net neutrality rules, or hand the internet's future to the corporate giants of telecom and tech. In the United States, Brazil, and India, net neutrality activists and small startups have been winning with millions of messages to regulators and protests in the streets. This summer, it's Europe's turn, and it depends on you. Click here to send your message to European regulators, share this video, and find a protest near you. If you're on mobile, click the link in the description, or go to savetheinternet.eu. Are you a YouTuber? Make a new version of this call to action for your audience, or in your own language. Do you have a startup? Sign the startup letter. No, seriously, click here. It's not too difficult. No, seriously, click the link in the description. The entire future of Europe's internet depends on it.